Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're here for the first time, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. I am a travel advisor and a travel blogger, and on my channel, I share travel tips, travel reviews, and all kinds of things related to the travel business and travel in itself. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe and ring the little bell notification so that you don't miss any of my videos. Now today I'm going to talk about host agencies and I'm sorry if I seem a little ah because I've actually already recorded this video once and I realized I recorded it on a bad memory card. But that said, I would much rather record a 10 minute video on a bad memory card right here in my office than to film it out somewhere and do a bunch of footage for a resort or something like that and then realize it was a bad memory card. So it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine, but I'm starting over. So here we go. So today's video is about host agencies and I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, now that I've been doing travel for a while, I have people reach out to me about becoming a travel agent, a travel advisor, what it entails, and they ask me lots of questions. So I wanted to have this video specifically for people who are looking to get in to travel and wondering why do you work with a host agency? Do you need to? Do you not need to? Pros and cons, etc. But then also, also, sometimes I have clients ask me, you know, if I'm sending them a quote from a supplier or something like that, it will have my host agency's name on it and then my name below it, or it'll have, it'll be somewhere and they're like, okay, so are you in this location or are you here? Because I do have a host agency. I started with the host agency. I'm still with the one that I started with. So my experience with host agencies, host agencies is limited to only one but I can still share what I know with you today, so let's get started. Number one, why would you need to work with a host agency? If you are thinking about getting started in the travel industry, a lot of the time, I would say 99% of the time, new agents go with host agencies. So the question is, why? Well, when you start in travel, you need to have a you need to be able to sell travel in certain states. I think there's five or six states where you have to have um, a certificate to sell travel in those states. You also need to carry Arizona emissions insurance, or you really should anyway. And then you need to have, and this is probably the most important thing and the hardest to do on your own, great relationships with suppliers. And if you're just getting into the travel industry from doing something else, how are you going to have those relationships? Well, you're not. And if you get in with a host agency that's been around for a while and has relationships with certain suppliers, they may even offer higher um, more commission to certain suppliers than they would to say a brand new agency. So that's just something to consider. So the next question would be, is there a downside to working with the host agency? And, and the answer is yes, because there is a commission split. So typically I would say in the industry, a 70, 30 commission split with the travel agent getting 70 and the host agency getting 30 is pretty typical starting point. My host agency started at 80, 20, and I'm higher than that now because the higher, the, the better your sales, the more you get in your commission split. So I, I've heard of 75, 25, 70, 30, 80, 20. There are some that are 50, 50, 60, 40. You really don't want to go with host agencies like that. Although sometimes they walk you through the process a little more, do a little more hand holding than some of the bigger agencies that don't really have the ability to, to do that with every single new agent or there are some that do leads and that's why their split is different. Honestly, this isn't about how to find, this video is not about how to find a host agency because there's all already a really great place for that. It's host agency reviews. I will link it in the description below. It's what I use to find my host agency because everyone's needs are different. If you're brand new and you have no idea about running a business, you might need a host agency where they can hold your hand the whole way through, teach you how to use everything, give you leads maybe even and I didn't really need that I wanted to run my business my way because if you ask most people that know me I do everything my way and that's what I wanted and so for me the host agency that I chose was great I, I had no I've had no problems this whole time <clears throat> but that is the downside is of course if your commission let's just say your commission is a thousand dollars and you're just starting off and you're split for my host agency when I started was 80-20, you would get $800 and then the host agency would get 200 for providing you those credentials, for doing everything, et cetera, et cetera. And then for most host agencies, in order to get your um, IATA card or other things, you have to have a certain amount of sales. Again, this video is not really about that, but if you'd like me to go more in depth into those type of things and other videos, let me know in the comments below. It's definitely something that I can do. So I guess a lot of people want to know, is your host agency, your employer, 
No, absolutely not. You run your own business and you are your own boss. Your host agency is simply there to provide you the credentials that you need to sell travel. You are a 1099 contractor in most scenarios. I can't think of anywhere you wouldn't be. And so no, it's not an employment situation. Now, if you're talking about employment situations, that might be a little bit different, but that would be another subject entirely. Now, one thing that I do want to talk about today, and it doesn't really have to do with host agencies, but it could, is that in the travel industry, there are uh, multi-level marketing uh, travel businesses. And you really want to stay away from those. They're really looked down upon in the industry. You focus more on recruiting other agents under you more than selling travel. And because of this, um, I, I know I don't know because I haven't done it. I just have heard really bad things. So I would stay far away from that. You want to make sure selling travel is your number one job. That's what you want to do. If you're with an agency where your main goal is recruitment, you're not going to be offered those things that you get based on sales, your fam trips, et cetera, et cetera. You're not going to get those because they're not going to care that you have 10 agents under you who don't book anything either. That doesn't make any sense. So just try to stay away from those. Um, there are a couple out there that I know of. I'm not gonna say the names because I don't wanna talk down about anybody, but if you're wondering if it's an agency like that, it probably is. So I'm just gonna leave it at that today. The next question would be, is there an advantage to starting out on your own? And for me, the answer was no. I honestly don't want to leave the host agency that I'm with. I feel like my commission split is very fair. I get a lot more now than when I started. So it's a pretty small number. Um, the, the host agency that I'm with goes up to 95% commission. So I would keep 95% of the mission. I would keep 95% of the commission, but still be able to use the credentials. There are a lot of people with my particular host agency that make far, 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 far more money than I do. Just as an example, I have been on in the top 100 out of 6,000 agents five times, I believe. And the best month that I had, I was number 37 and I sold or I had received 8,500 in commission that month. So 37, so there's 36 people above me who made more than that and towards the top of that much more. So easily there are six figure a month commission earning travel agents who are still with a host agency because it's worth it to them. So that's just something to keep in mind. Yes, there are benefits to having an independent agency, but there's also benefits to having a to working with the host agency, even if you are very, very successful, even if you have a lot of sub agents under you, there are, there's something that works for everyone. And I think you just have to figure out what works best for you. So if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. I do answer all of my comments here on YouTube. And if you'd like to see any more videos like this with the travel industry, please let me know. I know it's been a while since I made a video. Things got a little busy for a while, personal stuff and family stuff. And I'm back now. I have a couple of trips coming up in the next month or two. And I'm going to be sharing content on here every week, I hope. So if there's anything else that you'd like to see, just let me know. Or if any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.